Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So today I have an unbagging of three little parcels that I've received. That one I'll leave till last because that is a definite, oh, I shouldn't have ordered it. Why did I get suckered in? But let's have a look at these two. Uh, I have opened them and had a peek to see what they were and where they were from. And these two are actually from the Photo Custom Store on AliExpress. And they've taken quite a while to come, but they are, oh, the double-sided tape. Okay, they are like customs. So I just wanted to have a look and see what they were like. Now, strangely enough, I used my AliExpress coins for one of them. And the one using the coins cost me £3.39. And the one not using the coins cost me £2.38. As I've said in the past, yeah, if you're using AliExpress coupons and coins and things, just always double check that the shop's not selling it cheaper anyway. Because I've paid a pound more for one of these. Um, with using coins, presumably get, supposedly getting a super discount, they call it. And I could have bought it a pound cheaper anyway if I'd just bought it from the shop. So you live and learn. But anyway, let's hope that they're okay. They've come double-sided tip, which wasn't really expected. Um, but let's have a look and see what we've got. Okay. I can get into it. Oh. And they're all thick. I knew they were small, but they feel a lot smaller than I was expecting. So let's see what we have here. And then these. Okay. All right, okay. And, right, oh, goodness. Oh, it's them little bags as well. All right, just give that one time to flatten down a little bit. And let's take the other one out as well. So... These are customs for two little girls that I know and I thought they might like some little signs to go in their bedrooms so they are their names and although it is just basically a pink name on a white background this one has 12 oh, they both have 12 colours which is quite a lot for this Okay, so let's just take this off and have a look and see what we've got. Oops. Okay, so I'll pick it back. Right, so we've got different shading on it, I see. Okay, I think it's supposed to be like a 3D effect. Oh yeah, we'll go right to that edge there. It's exceptionally sticky. I'm not going to take it completely off because that will make it harder to put back down. It does need a good flatten. There is a lot of double-sided tape over the edges. And as you can see, that one says Lexi. Dare I take both of them off at the same time? Okay, it's a nice pinky purple colour, dark pink. Mm, not calling a hot pink on it. I think it's more pinky purple. Um, but yeah, they're just a nice size as well, so if the girls don't really like them and don't really want them in the rooms, then they can maybe just put them in a folder or something, or, but uh, if they do like them, then they can put them in little uh, frames maybe, or on a piece of mount board, or a piece of foam board and pop them on the wall, but I just thought, yeah, okay. They did um, double check with me, to be fair, to make sure that the names were spelt correctly before they went ahead and did them. So they're like a custom name sign. I think I'm going to have to do them or I may ask them if they want to do them themselves, but I think I'll probably do them. Um, I think I'll have to do them to see how the 3D sort of element of it comes in. It's certainly a lot of like shading colours in the background. All of this background here is one colour, all this white colour, and it's the same colour on that one. And then all of the main part of the letters is all the same colour as well. So, okay. They look, they're very, very clear drill fields. I mean, you know, there's nothing there that's jumping out at me as blurred or anything. 
uh, and I think for the money I've paid you can't really just go a bit closer there so you can see the other symbols and then I say that's the little key code there yeah I mean for what I've paid a few pounds and um, I would have paid a pound less if I'd have realised that I could get them both for a pound less but anyway <laughs> but yeah they, they look okay for what I've paid they look okay so let's just give the drill field a quick measure um, it's, it doesn't give me any measurements there. I don't think it did give me the measurements because obviously it's a custom so it depends how long your name is I'm not sure if they do do the huge long names I know Christopher is a very long name I think it's that about nine or ten letters because uh, I had a friend called Christopher um, and he always had trouble getting um, names because his name was too long. I have as well because my full name is Elizabeth and they tend to stick at eight letters for names and obviously Elizabeth is nine. So, so this is roughly 30 centimetres which is 12 inches and now my ruler has completely stuck. It was possibly not the best way to do it, but anyway. <laughs> you know me, if there's an easy way and a difficult way, I'll always find the difficult way. And it's 15 centimetres, which is about 6 inches. So, yes, yeah, they're a nice size. It looks like they are actually both the same size. They've both got the same amount of letters. So, that's worked out quite well. Okay, so let's just see. Oops, don't get that uh, crease there. If I can just flatten this down now and keep it flat now it's been opened and just something a little bit different I've not had a name one before I may um, get some more I was thinking about getting one for Millie actually but then I thought well where would I put it because she sleeps all over the house you know but just like we'd have to call the house the name Millie because that's where she lives you know <laughs> It's not like you could put it like above her bed because she sleeps there all the time. Because she doesn't. She just sleeps all over the house and she takes over the house. So, yeah. <laughs> she doesn't even have her own room. She has a house. All right. So, that's the two kits. So, they're, they're not bad. They need a good flatten. Uh, we've got uh, your basic tool kit, which is your pen, your boat, your wax and a three-placer there. Okay, so this one come with the same, yep, yeah. same consistency there, okay, and if they're the same colours then as well, quite possibly they will be, because they're both five letters, and they're both the same size, hmm, it's nice to get something new, oh, alright, okay, oh look, oh no, that's different, I've not had that before, when you get the uh, smaller bags, they're actually, <laughs> How big is that bag? That is a teeny tiny grip seal bag. Wow, they've sent you a lot of little grip seal bags. You've probably got the same amount as you have for uh, putting these in. Okay, so this one has says 12 colours. Got our little inventory sheet. And we have 1,115 of background colour and 3,082 of the letter colour which is 16 bags and then all the others are twos and ones just to make up the shading okay so oh, we have the hot pink so that's your main colour there of your letters which is very pretty the 603 and then it, oh it's actually 3865 the background so it's not quite so stark white, it's like the slightly creamy white. We've got a purpley colour and a pinky colour and another pinky colour. I might call hot pink on that one, not quite hot pink. So that's your three shadings in your pink. And then we've got greys in dark and light. Whoops, one's escaped. And we've got a brown, we've got just a little bit of 310, just two bags. And just another couple of their actually dark green colours. Oh, that'd be interesting to do. Okay. 
So that's the colours for that one. And as I say, I've never had little grip seal bags, but I've certainly never had little grip seal bags. Let me just measure these and see how big they are. Quite cute, actually. I don't, <laughs> don't know how easy they'll be to use, but it's a nice thought. Uh, they are six centimetres, which is two and a half inches that way by one and a half inches which is four centimeters that way so they are little bags wow okay <laughs> so let's put uh, actually i won't put that in there for now let's just see if they are identical okay oh we've got the grip seal bags in there as well there's, actually there's not as many in this one no there's not as many bags in that so They've been overly generous on that one. Okay. Got a lot of yes. Oh, are we the same colours? One, five, four, one, six, nine, three, two, four. Great. Okay. Nope. Slightly different colours as well in this one. So that's interesting. It will be interesting to do. A lot of the colours are the same, but there are quite a few marked differences. Um, and we've only got 988 on the 3865 on this one. And there's 200 more of the pink colour. Mm. Okay. So that one was that one, wasn't it? That one belongs in that one. Gosh, don't get them muddled up now, Liz. Okay. So this one, let's just have a quick look at these colours then. I think there's possibly more pinks in this one. Right. So we've got a lot of your 603 pinks. Quite a few more bags there. And your 3865s. Okay. And then we've got your three pinks. They look pretty similar. And then these are like a burgundy colour, which aren't in that one. Oh, we've got two blues which aren't in that one as well. That's another sort of brownie burgundy colour. So there's only two greys in this one, whereas that was a lot of grey. And then the two three tens the same. Mm. It will be interesting to see how these come out. And they're only little and they are rounds, so they should do pretty quickly, even though it is part blue. Oh, let me put that one in there as well. I hope once they're done, those two little girls will be quite happy with them. And then this was supposedly a new tool. And when I saw it, I was expecting it to be bigger. Because when it arrived, I thought, what on earth is that? I'm not expecting anything like that. So for once, something has arrived that has come smaller than I was expecting. Most things, as you know, when I get them, I think, wow, that's a lot bigger than I was expecting. But no, this is definitely... Um, I think I may even call a waste of money on this. It's cost me about between £6.50 and £7 with tax and delivery for this. Um, I will put the picture of what they show it as being and see what you think. I should have read it maybe a bit more closely and read the measurements possibly but yeah it's definitely not what I was expecting I like the little case that it's coming but yeah this is it's supposed to be a diamond painting sort of tool kit okay I mean I'll try it and see if it works but yeah I was expecting it, as I say, to be a lot bigger because these little penguins here, when you actually see them, they look like they're raised up as though they're like little charms or little cover minders and the snowflakes. So I was expecting like little extras and actually they're just pictures, just like little transfers stuck onto the bottom there. Um, this is like a piece of cloth, like a piece of it's a little bit like a 
tumble dry sheet wet dry wet dry wipe dry wet wipe material this is a little bit of double-sided tape that they've put on here and what you're supposed to do is put your drill a couple of drills on here and then you fill this up with wax which i suppose is why they've not included like little cover minders or anything so it's made for wax to fit in i'll just use these two pieces for now the concept of it is good i just think the actual size of it and the amount of paid is a lot of money and then what you're supposed to do i'll just take the top off that wax um, get a couple of drills it's supposed to be like a drill station so you would get your pen and you would pop your pen in there and get your wax into your pen and then you would push down on your gem so that your wax is fully in and then any extra wax that's around the edges you would wipe off on this lint stuff or you could put if you're doing a diamond painting you've got your wax in here you could put the spare gems here um, and then if you've missed one you've got a spare gem here but they actually do it so that you're pushing down pushing the wax into your pen so that it's nicely shaped and then you're wiping your wax off and then as you're diamond painting you can keep wiping the edges of your wax off so you don't end up picking two or three drills up at once because there's wax around the edges that's the idea of it and I thought oh, that's quite a handy little tool but I think for nearly seven pound it's a lot of money Um, it looks like something that would come out of a Christmas cracker to be fair <laughs> uh, there's a lot of glitter in it I think I don't know whether you can see yeah you can you can see sort of the glitter around the edges um, and there's sort of like glitter underneath this bit here and glitter under here as well you know there's quite a bit and they do actually sell these extra pieces as well to go on here so once this one's fully used i think this is just one piece yeah it is it's quite thick actually let's see what it's stuck on should be using my tweezers yeah it's it's like stuck with jelly there's like a jelly layer underneath keeping that down there um so yeah once you've used this piece you can take that off and then you can put another one down i think if i'd have ended up with the little penguins and the snowflakes i wouldn't have felt quite so cheated but they really do look 3d on the photograph um and maybe if i would have only paid about three pound maybe for it but I think at nearly £7, that's a lot of money. Let me give it a quick measure. I mean, you didn't even get like a pen or anything with it, you just, or even the wax. You are just literally getting the little thing. Uh, let me take those two gems off there. I'll leave them on for now. I'll just put the little cover back over the double-sided tape, because that's all that is, so you can just replace that easily as well. In fact, you could probably make one of these yourself just get a little container like this put some double-sided tape put your wax in and put yourself a little bit of cloth and you can make your own i mean even the little bag it comes in looks like something that would come from like a pound shop or a christmas cracker disappointed very disappointed okay so yeah it's nine centimeters that way which is three and a half inches by six centimeters that way which is about two and a half inches but yeah i thought i was getting some little penguins because they also do another one which has got avocados in it so i was expecting that the other one would have i'm pleased i didn't buy both i'd have been really upset if i'd have got both of them but mm, you live and learn is what uh, i'm going to say about this maybe you would find it useful let me know in the comments would you find this useful or do you just think it's sort of a gadget too far that really you don't need and it's just a gimmick um, and as I say I mean I could have bought another diamond painting these two diamond paintings were actually cheaper than this <laughs> wow 
was the karai. I won't put it back in that bag. Keep it in its little container for now because it will keep it uh, well together. But I mean, it's all together in one piece anyway. Okay, so that was a funny little haul really that I got then this time. We got uh, two little diamond paintings and a very peculiar little box thing. Anyway, at least if you've been looking at it, I've now bought it and you can say to yourself, well, maybe I do want it or maybe I definitely don't want it. So I may have saved you some money. Okay, well, if you've got any comments or questions, I'll leave them in the comments down below. If you have enjoyed the video, thumbs up as always is much appreciated. And if you want to come back and see what I get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button and the all notifications bell that's next to it, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.